Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to go from data to a pickle file. And specifically, we want to show you a couple of steps that you can do to save the data in the pickle file and to load the data back from an existing pickle file. So with that being said, let's get started. First things first is you go into a code lab environment just like this, and then you want to mount your Google Drive. So let's say connect. Once it's done, you'll be able to see the directory on the left-hand side popping up a new folder called Drive. Under Drive, you'll be able to see My Drive, and that is where your Google Drive is. So any file in here, it's not going to be deleted. But if you have any file saved outside of this directory, it will be deleted after you restart this runtime. So first things first, we need to get a test data in here. I'm just going to use TensorFlow because I want to test out the MNIST data set. So once I have TensorFlow, I can then use this chunk of code to load in the MNIST data set. And first thing to do is check out the dimension. So we check out images for training set, dot shape. And then we can do this for all the other objects. We run it, we will see the following numbers. We have 60,000 by 20 by 28. That means this training image data has 60,000 pictures, and each picture is 28 by 28 size. And since this is a black and white picture, uh, you're not going to have a channel or depth. So this number should make perfect sense in terms of this first object. The second object is a training label. So it's just going to be a vector of length 60,000 at this point. And then you go to test images, it's the same format, except that the test set is a little bit smaller. It has 10,000 sample size or 10,000 pictures, and that's why this is 10,000. And the label is, of course, 10,000 as well. So with that being said, these are your data that you can use to train a convolutional neural network model, things like that. Now you want to save it, right? Because you don't want to rerun this code. Like, what if this code is too complicated? You have to do a bunch of data pre-processing, right? Now the data is ready. You want to save it all. So we use Pickle. First thing to do is to load the Pickle library. Uh, so you say import Pickle. Uh, so once you have the library, now you can use this chunk of code to save the data into a Pickle file. So as a notation, this WB here, that means write byte. So this is the directory of the Pickle file. And now you want to dump something inside this Pickle file. And that object is A. So what exactly is this A object? This A object contains two parentheses, right? So each parenthesis is a tuple. And then each tuple has two objects, which are the images and the labels. Uh, so this is essentially your training set and test set, all saved into this object A. So I'm going to run this code, and then I'm going to say refresh on the left-hand side. You see that you pop out this new file called amnestdata.pickle. And if you just leave this file here and you restart session, or if a session crashes, this file will disappear. So that's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this into my drive folder, and I can save there, and I can save the file in there permanently. So this way, I'm not going to lose that pickle file. Now, just for the sake of demo, I'm going to disconnect and delete the runtime so that everything is gone. And then I'm going to reconnect runtime to show you guys how to load that data back. The first thing to do is to mount your Google Drive. Once Google Drive is mounted, you should be able to see this drive, and then the My Drive should be in there. Now all you got to do is load in the pickle file. So to do this, you need to be able to run this code with the correct directory. The way I recommend you do is use import OS. And then you want to set up the correct directory by using os.change directory. And in this parenthesis, you want to fill in the path of where that pickle file is saved. Since earlier, I just drag and drop it in my drive. I can literally just go into my drive. So I'm going to copy path. And I'm going to paste the path in here. So there you go. Now I change my working directory to this particular folder, which is in my drive. Now I can load in this pickle file. And in terms of notation, this RB stands for read byte. Now I run this code, you will be able to load the pickle file into this object B. So if you check out the length of B, it will say two. 
And that makes perfect sense because earlier, this thing that we save into this pickle file has two things in there. That's why the length of it is two. So once we understand that B has length two, then you just grab the first item by saying B bracket zero. Bracket zero is gonna grab the first item, which is gonna be the first parentheses, so that is the first tuple. And of course, it's length of two because there are two things in there, which are training images and training labels. So then you can use bracket zero to grab the first item, and then you can check out the dot shape, and it should match exactly what we have above here, which is 60,000 by 28 by 28. And that's precisely what we see here, 60,000 by 28 by 28. So in this case, you're never going to be scared of losing your data because you're able to save everything in this pickle file, and you'll be able to save that pickle file in your Google Drive. So that if this memory crashes when you are training your model, or if you somehow run up compute unit, the data is here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.